Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen uh, how to use uh, multiple keywords um, uh, for logging in and logging out. Um, in today's session, uh, we are going to concentrate on uh, the variables and arguments. Okay, so what I will do is I will uh, uh, take a copy of this um, example which I have shown earlier. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it into the same folder and I'm going to call it as uh, variable arguments okay okay so <clears throat> okay, let me add it to test demo project Okay, earlier we passed in the X part directly uh, to input text. Uh, instead of doing this, so what we can do is we can add in a section called variables here. After adding the variable section, what I'm going to do is uh, for login, we have used two different parameters uh, for input text, which is the first one is X path and the actual value. For the time being, I'm going to use the variable to store these values. For example, um, to define a variable, I start off with dollar symbol uh, followed by flower bracket and inside the flower bracket uh, your variable name so here i'm going to call it as u name and two spaces two and the value for that which is tom smith in the same way i'm going to create another variable for password to space again and super secret password. This is what I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now we have created these two variables. So how do we make use of these two variables inside this keyword? Okay, so instead of Tom Smith, I'm going to replace this with the variable name. The same way I'm going to do it for the password as well. Okay, so these are the two variables uh, which stores these values now. And uh, let us run this. Okay. I have not changed anything else just these I have added these two variables I have just added these two variables with the values which we were passing directly and now I'm storing them into a particular variable okay so let me run this Okay, it didn't log out um, because we changed something in the last session uh, just to show the failure criteria. We took out some text from this particular message. So I'm going to put it back because it is going to look for the exact text. Okay, let me close this and rerun this.
Okay, so as you can see uh, that uh, the test case has passed now. This is how we can make use of these variables. So let me delete all the uh, screenshots here. Okay. Now we know how to make use of these variables. Um, instead of uh, having these X parts here, uh, we can also make use of the variables here. So I'll quickly show how to uh, do that. Um, the same way we created the variable. Um, I will call it as X uname. That means X path for the username. And I'm going to replace this X path. Again, two spaces, paste it here, and then copy the, the variable name and paste it here. Okay, so let me quickly re uh, rerun this. Okay, this is how we can make use of variables. And now let us see how we can pass in the arguments. From this particular test case, this is directly calling the a keyword without passing in any arguments. So let us see how to pass in the argument. Uh, first, let us go to keywords. And then we say this particular keyword is going to expect arguments. For that, you need to put this arguments in square brackets and then followed by two spaces again. So what are the arguments? So let us assume that I'm going to pass in the username and password. Okay. I'm going to give this name as dollar user. So this is again a kind of a variable which holds uh, the value which we are passing. User and then pass. Okay, what this says is uh, this particular keyword is going to expect two arguments which we need to pass it whenever we are making a reference to this particular keyword. Okay, so where are we making the reference to this keyword? Under TC1. So here we need to pass in the username and password which will get stored into this particular variables. Okay, so here we copy this. So again, since we have to pass in the, in the arguments here, two space followed by the value for the user and again two space followed by the password okay now earlier we had used these uh, two variables, which is u name and u password, which we uh, which we have added here. Now instead of these two variables, uh, I'm going to use these arguments. So this I'm going to replace it with the the dollar user and the password with this. Okay, now Tom Smith will get stored into dollar user and then super secret password will get stored into this pass. And that is what we are going to use um, for input text for the username and input text for the password. Okay, so let us save it and rerun it.
okay so the test case um, is now using the arguments instead of the variables so how do i know that it is using arguments not the variables okay first of all then uh, the variable names are different okay and just to make sure that you know okay so i'm going to change this um, the username okay if it was using this particular variable name then the the test case would fail correct so let us rerun this and see okay so it still you use this tom smith instead of tom tom s okay okay so this is how we can make use of uh, variables and arguments for arguments you must make sure that you have this arguments tag below the keyword that is the end of this session thanks for watching if you have any comments suggestions please post it under comment section under the video i will see you in the next video